when you approach a hospital, how do you reduce the, the stress? How do you create positive distractions? And so what we did is we created a very, almost like a small building scaled for children. So as a, as a child comes to the building, you want it to be fun and playful, uh, introduced colored glass there, trying to reduce the stress as you're coming in. The big idea for the architecture was this idea of playfulness, a kaleidoscope of ever-changing light. The senior leadership of the hospital, they really wanted something that they coined as sophisticated whimsy. So they didn't want to be too children-y with giraffes and things and everything, but they wanted to have a, a level of sophistication, but at the same time have some whimsy to it. So this idea of kaleidoscope really did resonate with everyone. So I created this simplistic diagram of colored glass on this cube, and then I said, well, I gotta call Ken. He's been perfect for this because his work with dichroic glass and being an architect himself, he understood exactly uh, what we were trying to achieve. I look at the architecture and ask questions such as, what is the art to do? What is its function? What does the architecture need? And that, of course, involves the people who live and work or experience the building. His initial proposal, it was very angular and building geometry. It seemed a little, little hard, but Ken shift quickly with, with no issue and then came up with something that had more curvilinear shapes to it. And that became a little uh, softer and a more friendly. And so he was able to compose the exterior, which was doing you know, uh, some benefits from a sustainability approach because of the sun shading, the glass and the, and the way it was positioned on the building helped reduce some of the glare into the building. But at the same time, it created this artful, colorful piece. You're approaching the building, you're going, I see something, but I, I don't really know what, I, what it is. You get a little closer and the color starts to reveal itself. And then when you get really close to it and you look at it from an oblique view, it, it, it just comes alive. And at the same time, it's not just about what's on the outside of the building, it's about what's inside the building. So patience and, and reducing stress and, and creating these moments of, of delight. So if you're in a patient room, and it has some of this dichroic glass that's on the exterior of the building. And when the sunlight hits it in different times of the day, it, it penetrates into the building. And so it creates these moments throughout the day that give that positive distraction in the whole idea of trying to create a healing environment. When I worked on that project, that's when this idea of daylight, nature, and art really took hold. And it really ties back to the healing environment. When I proposed the idea of dichroic glass to the, to the building facade, there were a lot of skeptics. This is, is it really going to work? What's it going to look like? And the day the first panel went up, it was pretty amazing. Calls from the client, it looks spectacular, right? You can only do so much with renderings and, and drawings and pictures and mock-ups. But when we started to really put it together, um, they, they could see what we were seeing all along. Uh, that this was going to make a difference to this building. It's not about letting go of your idea, it's letting your idea flourish. And that's why working with Ken is, is perfect because he, com he completely understands that it has to be a, a dance, a collaborative dance, to uncover those beautiful moments where architecture and art meet each other. Mm -hmm.